Oh, dang it. And I'll send you over there anyway. Somewhere. Well, I was going to have an inner demon. I wanted another swap with him, but I, I don't have another swap right now. You just put him directly underneath the lava eruption. Did I? Yeah. How do you tell? Uh, it's yeah, on the map. You tell? They're on the map. Stay oh, away from that them. little red circle yep. is the lava eruption. Yep. Yeah, but at the same time, that's the only way to get around to the front. Uh -huh. Yeah, like where else am I going to uh, go? We'll I see. I am directly between two lava eruptions. This is going I'm gonna to be I'm going to try to stand over here, it's which fine. is hopefully not in range of the lava eruption. Also, sweet, we're death chilling when you get into the town where I live. Will we do activities? Like the standard activities that are done at the town where I you live. Love on both sides of you. Good luck. Yeah, I'm in. Uh, you have jumping. I mean, you've got jumpy moves. Yeah, you're a warlock. Yeah, you can jump. A war. I don't have what jumpy moves called? for a turn. Well, oh. time to wait a turn. <laughs> yeah, but you don't. But, your skills don't uh, recharge if you delay your turn. No, I, just, I said yeah, just wait. Uh, to, oh, hey, bird. Do you have teleport yes, hi, bird. off cooldown? Uh, I do. Why? Okay, delaying my turn. Here, Lava no, no, no. bad. I, I'll, we we can reciprocity this. If if I'm within range of you, I can teleport you wherever you want. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna, no more. I'm gonna reciprocity so hard. <laughs> we're we're almost gonna be engaging in symbiosis. We're gonna be so reciprocal. You'll get scales on your butt that way. Do you want scales? Yeah, we shouldn't go that far. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. You <laughs> Whoa, you went clear past it. Okay. Where'd she go? She has like infinite uh, she's movement. She's past the lava, the lava death. Yeah. Oh, was, yeah. Uh, yeah. Part of it is, I think the more points you put in scoundrel, the further you can move on like an AP you, basis. You get faster. Yeah. So you like can just leave. I was just reacting to the way that she We're seemed to be walking. Because uh, she was going really long distance to begin with. And she already oh. did a jump before then. So I was hey, like, I was like, she's going yeah. past me. She looks, she's going to go in the lava. And then she kept going even oh, further. Oh, the was like, lava titan. titan in between you guys. Put me next to the source oh, titan. You, I don't you think You didn't know it was there? It. Oh, no. Uh, put you next to the what? The source titan, like right there. I don't think anybody looted the thing. Oh. Yeah. All right. Uh, can you ping that again? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's, it's the broken shit right in the middle. Thank you. <gasps> Ow. So how... How can you tell where they will preemptively it's go? The red, the it's the red rings and the map. Yep. I don't see <sighs> any red rings, Wander. Press tilde. Um. I just always have that on forever. They're hard to say, but just check the map. They're on the map. And you can ping the map to see where, like, one of the lava eruptions Nothing's is going to be. Nothing's coming up for me. I don't know what you mean. I've been using tilde. Okay. Well, either way, check the map. Ow, oh, ow, you walk ow, directly ow, into ow. it. Well... The map doesn't have anything on it, Wander. Oh no! I, uh, Burns that are everywhere, Shell. No, I don't see any. I can see them from here. Those yes. red diamonds. Yes. <laughs> okay. I thought you meant some other red diamonds. Well, they—they are all on the opposite side of the map, so I'm like, they're not near me. One of them standing. On one of them's right next to you. But they don't show up as red diamonds. Guys, guys, we're not dwelling on me. I just died now. <laughs> you walk directly into the lava. Widow. Oh my! Okay, oh, my, yes. I I like just end its turn. There. Just end, end its turn. turn. Sorry. I thought that like the lava eruption would be what kills me, not the <laughs> lava itself. No. Granted, we've had the lava mechanic in this game before. Yeah. I'm gonna concede that point. I'm gonna concede that. <laughs> yep. point. I'm gonna concede that point. Consider uh, the point conceded, Keith. Let's see. Oh, cool. That's all still fire. It's cool. A, it's a. It's a CRPG. One of us needs to reach the end. Thank That's goodness it. that wasn't. Thank goodness One that wasn't lava there, yet. It's counted as victory for everybody. Jokes on you when, it, like, when that's super not the case. Yeah, <laughs> when when like the rest of us are just permanently dead. And it's I, like, uh, I I am making an assumption right now. <laughs> My assumptions are one hundred percent true, one hundred and five percent of the time. Okay, bird. Does that mean you get Put healed you for five percent of assumption damage? Or it's safe-ish. Hey. Thank you. And now I probably just gonna walk over here and cross Did... my what? Oh, you what? son of a! You got stunned. There's you a little bit stunned. of electricity there. 
Did you loot the body? Damn it. <laughs> did you loot did you loot the body? Yeah, there was nothing in it. Oh. Well, it's okay. Moses' turn. It's well, okay. Well, when other swap this. comes back, I can probably switch you with my summon. Yeah. This See, it's in, if I have, it's not if I have the high ground uh, range. Eruptions. There, That'd this, be really weird. This tile is fire. It's not quite lava. I'm going to put you on the fire and hope. Fire's fine. Oh, Jesus. Why did you, why'd you go there? Oh, I, why? Isn't that the lava? I, why didn't you just teleport him into the factual fire over there? Right next to it. No, no, that's also a lava eruption. If you if you scroll, yeah, that's over, a lava that's eruption. It's a death. It's lava eruption, but it doesn't kill you. Cause it's not doesn't? lava yet. No, it will. Like oh. when that's done, it becomes lava. Yeah, but it your turn's next. Oh, I'm sh I'm stunned, dude. Oh Jesus. Yes. What turn? You, sh you should definitely not take a step. He'll be fine. All you he needs to do is walk. I, you definitely should wait for somebody to teleport you. <laughs> I get Phoenix uh, jump yeah. uh, on my inevitable I would turn. Not, I would not trust the path thing to do anything besides walk you directly into the lava. Fine, fine. If we're going to debate this, like, you know, all day and every day. It's, it's fine. Let, let no, no, Papa no, just, Bird come in. Just, let Papa no, no, Bird, just, Papa Bird. Okay. Papa Bird is going gonna, is gonna to save everybody's butts. See? Yep. There we go. Yeah, the summon's a little bit more expendable. That summon has been nothing but a nether swap target. <laughs> Oh, really? I'm... Do you have a jump or a phoenix jump or your scoundrel jump? Oh, actually, can I stop myself? Yeah. Oh, but I can't Just because, because I'm the cause Indella of my target. problems doesn't mean I can also not be the solution of my problems. See if you can... Nope. I can't actually activate it. I was like one Okay, AP well, short. it's fine. That area is oh, probably safe. Oh, I should have actually used Flarg. flesh sacrifice then for it. <laughs> oh. Oh, see, he's fine. That's he weird. takes lava really well. Well, now he's dead. <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh. Turns out being a, a fire elemental really helps the lava damage. Uh oh. There it is. Okay, bird, delay. Uh, wait, no. It's fine. I can teleport you. Kitty! Uh -oh. Yeah? <laughs> no? You're right? Time to use every movement trick. Oh, the cat. People want to see show play. I have no mouth, but I must scream. I, you know, it would that's actually. A, uh, that's a grim that? idea. It it would kind of work though, because her hands messed up, so she needs other <laughs> stuff to play. She would not. <laughs> ah. she, I I don't think she's gonna make it through that. No, there's I don't no think way so she's gonna make it to chapter one, like two, and be like, I'm done. The book has like a whole page dedicated to describing someone's horse dung. Ew. Oh. Oh yeah, that is in the book. Yeah. Oh, what did I say? One of us makes it. Then we all go. I was just one AP short. Oh my oh, god. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! This boat's about to fall into the abyss. Well, it's good she, look, she grabbed one person. <laughs> Goodbye, other three people. <laughs> Oh no, Wabbit! All the people left on that island. Wabbit was on the other island. Also dead. Alright, so welcome back to more solo playthrough stuff. Just trying to pick up some pieces of this playthrough. By the way, you can like drag this around and like join people together. And you're gonna read, then you can detach them afterwards. It's interesting. So I can say like, these characters will all walk together. And then I'll click on a place and they'll all walk together. There's even like a formation feature where you can tell people where to stand in a group and stuff like that. Pretty standard CRPG stuff, but stuff that just hasn't been relevant because we've been playing multiplayer. So the idea of managing characters in groups hasn't really been relevant ever. You can't, somewhat annoyingly though, you can't like drag a square across the screen to highlight everybody and then and then make that be how you tell them to do something. That feel that feels weird not having that ability. Anyway, I don't remember how to, uh... Oh, you just cast Purge? We found our friend dead. Which seemed like an iffy place to leave the story. It's like, aren't you an important character? And you're just, you're just dead now? Huh. Okay. 
Well, <laughs> so I wanted to follow up on that at the very least. Supposedly what happened is that we went into that one hole. And so because we went into that one hole, uh, it was like, wow, you beat this chapter. And so all of the chapter story was just finished immediately in that moment. You stop. Which Explain is yourself. some really broken stuff. The elves, the god, run home. You speak, you are not run. The laughter, d good. You may prove not from me, at least. Huh. I do not, but in we've already. Do, we turn the elf raises a one demands once the trials do not kick. Right Should I get elf. through that real quick because we've been here before? All right. Get out of my way, various instant killer things. Probably just gonna wander around inside his fane and see if I can figure out what happened to our friend that was just dead all of a sudden. But I also want to get rid of all these because if they kill us, we're in trouble. I was able to retrieve saves, old saves from Wanderbot again. Let's go into the back of this base and see if I can find our friend that was just dead <laughs> on the floor and we didn't know why. Hopefully the save is from before then. Don't actually see him here. God welcome. The ah. mother tree calls you. Follow the spirit. Climb to the heart of the tree. The mother awaits. Okay. Oops. Your words mean nothing to me, Alexander. Ooh. Protect the bishop no matter the I will have your head, seeker. Here we are. So it's Magister Rowe and there's Gareth. There's out there's Adlard. And Bishop Alexander, they're just here. Be at ease, Magister Rowe. Weapons down. Gareth, I have done you a grave injustice. I was deceived, and I was too weak, too naive to see it. Alexander holds his hands outwards towards Gareth, his blade resting flat across his palms, a gesture of goodwill and peace. Hold still. Your actions depend on what happens next. Gareth notices your arrival and emits an alarming chuckle. Godwoken! Have you come to witness the death of the noble coward? How fortunate! You can tell the tale of Lucian's other wayward son. This slug defends his own cruelty on the basis of ignorance. He expects me to forgive him for everything he's taken from me. Every fallen seeker, every friend, every slain Godwoken. My own parents. He says this to me while their flesh still rots in the graves I dug for them. I've forgotten nothing. Alexander, you are the sinner, yet the gods have allowed us to suffer for it. I would kill you a hundred times over if given the chance. The idea that Alexander must live when we side against him constantly is kind of funny. I could try doing con uh, persuasion, but we've confirmed that persuasion doesn't work if you're not playing as a persuasion-heavy character. Which... Uh, I'm still frustrated by the, by the revelation that these things say memory and strength, but in reality all they care about is your persuasion stat, so... They're almost like a lie? I will totally help against Alexander. This is your end, Alexander. I strike in the name of your father. Okay, now. This is going to be interesting. Anyway. Oh my god. Bird, what have you done to your inventory? There's the panties. Hi. Don't mind me. Oh. Oh! If one that's interesting, if one character teleports to me, they all teleport to me because their 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 AI actually accounts for that in the fact that they're grouped together like this. Isn't that interesting? I don't really know what side effects that might have during combat, so let's just not risk any of that. There we go. Alright, so it's just gonna be me controlling a character I know how to play as and three characters I don't know how to play as in a fight against a bunch of assholes. Where's Gareth? Oh, Gareth's behind me. Oh, cool. So I should just use this. Glory is 
the fuck all y'all attack. <laughs> How's Gareth doing? Okay-ish. Let's make him even harder to kill. Let's retcon fate, even though I, in, canonically in our playthrough, Gareth is stup super dead. Nice! Look at Gareth doing the right thing, except we're so clustered together right now that we're gonna get hit by any AoE. That's not great news. Ouch. That's a good example of that. Wow. Really not a great idea to be standing together like this. Can Alexander be charmed? No immunities, it says. Oh, but he's got a, he's got magic armor again now. Oh, he's blessed the fire. Now it's healing everybody. Well, that won't stand. Stop blessing me. They just keep having turns, don't they? Alright, time to play Red Prince, who I no, have no idea how to play as. Great. Great. Some surprisingly low damage attacks, it seems like, but I guess... This is back when we were level 17? It's, a little, it's been a little while. Are you telling me Superconductor's not even... Let's see, all enemies within the area. So Superconductor is not even a source attack. Huh. I was kind of wondering about that. Let's try a Phoenix Dive. Put myself in a slightly better situation. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Losa's turn. Oh, she's taunted, so she's just gonna do whatever she feels like. I don't get to control Losa. Great. Oh, God. Shell's character has been respected so many times. I don't even know what she is anymore. She does still have rupture te rupt Get out of here. She does still have rupture ten tendons. A few other tricks. Fan of knives. Fires a dagger at everyone near you. It can even backstab. Does that mean I can backstab multiple people? Because they're both their backs are both facing this direction. Let's see. Fan of knives. Yep, backstab crit. That's fun. He needs that laser he's so fond of all the time. Now it is my turn. So that's how you target that. I'm learning things today. Spontaneous combustion. Deal a bunch of damage to a target character. They're affected by burning or necrofire. Remove those statuses and deal additional damage for each turn of duration remaining. He's got magic shell and faith aura, so no. But fireball. Unless I want to target these guys. Which are not particularly damaged. Oh, those guys are those guys are grouped up. It's ignition, uh enemy characters around your set on fire. Immune to burning. What? They swapped Sebel with with Alexander? They're kinda just helping me group the enemies together now. It bothers me that this all happened off-camera last time, and we had no chance at seeing it happen. I mean, we had a chance at seeing it happen, but I mean, like, there was no... There was no indication that the lost progress happened. It just was, like, out of nowhere, like, By the way, game fucked you via weird scripting. Wasn't that fun? Let's attack. Jump from one target to another, hitting up to two targets. Only two. Boring. Why two targets? Wouldn't you want more than two for an attack like that? It just seems kind of boring.
Let's attack. The backstab critting is critting. Chloroform. Destroy magic armor and then try to set to sleeping. You have too much magic armor. I think it's single target. Probably not the best thing for right now. Jump over an enemy landing behind their back and backstabbing them for sad baby damage. 200? Why is she so weak? She's using level 17 and 16 damage weapons. What? Are, wait, what are her stats? It looks like Shell has been leveling like all of her stats equally. They all range from 19 to 23. So she's not especially good at anything. Oh. She also has a common quality chess piece. Let's look at Bert. Oh, look at Wander. Is that legendary? And divine? <laughs> and then poor Shell has a, a goddamn regular chess piece. This was an issue, especially in the first chapters where like, Wander was running around with like epic mega gear and we were running around in like white quality gear. And it's like, wow, I wonder why he's so badass. That was a bit frustrating. Because he has control over the save file, so it's like, oh, I can't... Can't even access the save to change my uh, gear. Ouch. I might be in a little trouble because I'm kind of flailing a little bit here. Oh, Bird has haste. Or at least at some point had haste. You can make people go mad. Be fun. Resisted by magic armor. My entire team has magic armor, but those guys don't. Oh, but if I attack up there, they both get in tr some trouble. How big is this? Absolutely massive. Oh, is that not going to re reach because of some weird line of sight issue? Oh, that's frustrating. Well, now I'm all excited about this fun new trick and I want to use it even though I'm wasting my turn. Trying to set it up. Oh, it's a small AoE. Whoops. I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here thinking it was the giant circle around me was this huge thing where you make people attack whoever's next to them, but, uh, it's just whoever's right there. Well, I'll make those two go mad and hit each other. That'll be fun. Yay! I've never seen him use this... We, like, at the time of me recording this, we've already beaten the game. Like, my, our playthrough's over. I'm going back to try to do pickup stuff. I don't think I've seen Bird use this madness spell a single time, and it's like the coolest thing! I want to make a series of enemies all fight each other. That's like up there with uh, how much I like my uh, my mind control ability. Having all these characters sounds exciting. What kind of school is this? Special. Special. I'm so, wait, what? Click Losa. K. Oh, is that Losa's innate ability? Like my mind, like my one, the, like I have one that makes me do a turn again, but it costs AP, so it's like if you, it got better at the end of the game, but by then I had a bunch of other stuff to do too. Uh, yeah, I want a editing song. Anyway, Red Prince, how you doing? Uh, oh, Gareth is still super healthy. He's fine. Let's see. And those two are both mad, so they might be fighting each other. That's good, too. Supernova. Deal damage to a large area around you. Except things are blocked by obstacles. Oh, not that big of an area, though. Oh, I meant to move. My bad. All these damage values seem low. Are they just massively resistant to a bunch of stuff? Yeah, they are. I guess that makes sense with how tough they're supposed to be.
And nobody is burning really unless blessed unless holy fire counts, which I don't think it does. Let's throw a fireball over. There we go. This is my first time using the whole party in combat ever, so it's kind of exciting. The other two times I did pickup footage, it was just me running around as Fane real quick or someone just to talk to a dude. But now I'm like exploring everyone's characters. I'm like, ooh, what do you have? But I'm also trying not to sit here and read them for five hours because that would take forever. Fan of knives. I like I like multi-target attacks like that. That's fun. Kind of fun re just revisiting how fundamentally different some of our characters are from each other. I miss you, Blood Sacrifice. That bonus AP. That was always nice to have. Unfortunately, she does physical armor, so she's kind of at contrast with other characters in the party who benefit from different things. And all the enemies currently have physical armor, because she's the only one working on them. She's got a whirlwind. She's yeah, she's generally kind of limited, unfortunately. Backstabs. Oh, that person went mad. That person died from the ensuing madness. Plus one AP ter per turn for two turns at the cost of one AP. Kind of a cool thing to have. It's really just a net one gain, but it's it's kind of like what a uh, what uh, Sebel has. Chain Lightning. My favorite spell in, in RPGs. Just a cool idea. Oh, is Alexander... Yep, Alexander's down again. Our ever badass super mega villain uh, boss guy that we gotta worry about so much. And there he is being down again. I guess we already had Glass Cannon at this point in the playthrough. Glory is mine. Don't mind me while I make a giant hulking <laughs> monster made of fire and throw him into the arena real quick. Let's see, Magister Rogan be finished off real quick. Not quite. Wow. 20 hit points. Are you joking me? Are you doing a joke? Is you... A, are you doing a kidding? No, oh, they're gonna heal too. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Oh, sign is blocked. There we go. And everybody levels up. I'm not gonna be doing that. That's gonna take forever. I might just be clicking on things now, because <laughs> we're so clearly winning that I'm like, use that one, and that one, and that one. Yeah, Gareth's fine. The only objective is to keep him alive, and he's fine. Is your physical down? No, not even remotely. Because you're the only person who does physical damage. She's been, she's been a weird inclusion in the party. I don't know. I'd probably understand her role better if I had played as her before. So I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm at the end of the game trying to configure out how to play as Sebel, and I'm like, I don't know what your point is. You can slowly, slowly work down people's physical armor that... so that we can then just kill them via our, their already drained magical armor. What does the spider do? Just burrow and devour corpse? Devour fresh corpse to restore your vitality and receive a damage buff. Neat. 
just makes the character makes the, the summon heal and get more powerful. That'll suffice though. Well, <laughs> let's slowly run all the way over there and then in my turn. Because uh, that guy's out of line of sight. Hello, friend. That turn ended. Dazzling Bolt. I know that one, I know Bird uses that a lot. Whoa, that's some high damage. God damn. How you doing, Gareth? I must admit, Godwoken, at one time I envied you. I wondered what it would be to feel awake for the first time. Reborn. I no longer have to wonder. I see for the first time. I see you. I see myself. And I see my future. So clear. So very my own. Not Lucian's. Mine. And our reward is... A bunch of items. The trousers of skill. Whoa. Who wouldn't want some skill trousers of skill? Where'd he go? Did he just peace out down that ladder? Goodbye, Gareth. I guess. I don't know where he went. <laughs> There's the last forest tiger, that prick. I think we're done here. I could... Could go check to see if Gareth shows up back in the Lady Vengeance. Because he just ran away. And Bishop, Alexa Bishop Alexander's dead. Is he dead dead this time? Alexander's severed head. Huh. And the Cowl of True Sight. Plus two intelligence. The Divine Reckoning. Those all seem kind of important, don't they? Huh. Is he canonically dead now? Is that a- th Oh my god, what is this inventory? I'm scared. I don't know what these are, but they're all going on to the Lady Vengeance. But, no. Lady Vengeance. Lady Vengeance. Lady Vengeance. That's better. It, uh... <laughs> So previously we killed him and we ripped his face off. And that was like dramatic, how he ripped his face off and everything. But like I assumed that like it wasn't that big of a deal because uh, he just shows up later on the ship. I think he actually died forever this time. I think that uh, I think I actually killed Alexander just now, which is interesting because he was kind of he kind of showed up later. We had to race him, we had to race him to Divinity. So having him just freaking die now was interesting. Does that mean we don't race anyone there? Do we just race each other? I don't know if I have the patience to replay to that point, because I'd have to do a bunch of the act again, kind of. I just want to see if Gareth's on the ship now. Oh, there's Jahan, there's Zrilla. I don't see Gareth. I'm not sure where he went off to. 